I'm going to be showing off today a cobble mining script, and I hope you will enjoy. And yeah, I'm going to try and keep this quick because it is pretty long to show off. There are a lot of features to explain, so I'll keep it concise. Enjoy! Alright guys, so I'm going to go through the quick items that you need in order to uh, use this script. So it is highly recommended to use the miner's outfits, so you usually craft this using the enchanted cobblestone. You also need the stonk pickaxe. Now I don't play enough hypixel to know how to craft it to get this thing, but I'm sure a lot of players out there will be able to help you with that. Alright, so let's get into the features. So all the features include it in the script are random times and movements of the head, so the head kind of bobs up and down uh, quite often, just so that you can avoid the watchdog uh, protection. You can use multiple accounts. Uh, I don't put a limit on the amount of accounts you can use on this script. It's completely up to you. You can auto-craft cobblestone to enchanted cobbles. It so basically the script also auto-crafts cobblestone to enchanted cobblestone, and then you can choose whether you want to store this cobblestone into the ender chest or have it dropped as you craft it into hoppers uh, below you which is a cool little feature uh, it is compatible with my failsafe I have um, I will be upgrading the uh, failsafe uh, now so the failsafe is an independent script that uh, comes along with a lot of my other scripts like the sugarcane one etc that basically uh, allows you um, to be caught if you get teleported to the lobby. Uh, it will automatically stop the scripts uh, that you've asked it to stop and then restart them after executing a command. Um, so yeah, I'll do a little demo right now. This is my starting point, so I'm at minus 3360158 in my coordinates. I'm going to go over to my script and set those here as my command to run. Of course, it doesn't have to be slash tp, it can be slash home or whatever. I'm going to save that, and now that that's working, I can now uh, go ahead and test this. So I'm going to test it somewhere where the failsafe will activate. So definitely here. So I'm going to auto-mine, and it'll say unsafe, scripts have ended. It will stop, the, uh, it'll stop all scripts, and it will teleport. make sure to teleport you back. Um, back to the um, this area here and then it will just uh, start the script again for you until the script fails so let's just go and try and force our way through our way out there you go and it failed again four three two one uh, that you can always jump to cancel and you, it cancels the uh, automatic restart. So that is a quick view on how the failsafe uh, works. For now, it just checks the Y coordinates. So if you're at the same Y coordinate as the um, as the lobby, they'll have to message me, and I can easily uh, make something so it checks something different. But up to now, I haven't had the need for this. Um, but yeah. Um, all right, that's the failsafe. So another few different features of the script are the auto craft using the VIP option if you are VIP. So it automatically detects uh, a cobblestone in one of the VIP crafting slots. And if it finds that crafting that cobblestone in the VIP crafting slot, it will automatically press that and automatically craft using that. So the Hypixel crafting grid has a button that allows you to quick craft without needing to place items inside the grid. And it detects this button and will click this button. You will use this button if it can. Um, otherwise it will use the crafting grid as normal. And if you're missing the NEI module, so this is a module that allows me to read the NBT data of our items and distinguish between enchanted cobblestone and non-enchanted cobblestone. Uh, this this module is needed. Um, however, if you have a VIP rank, um, and you can set it to drop the items, and you can also uh, make it so that you use the VIP crafting. And in that case, um, the script won't be won't need the um, any I module. 
since you're not crafting and you're not storing to the e chest, which is essentially what it needs the NEI module for to do. So um, yeah, you can have a little demo of it on screen later uh, after this little presentation of the different features. Um, next up, uh, so uh, as I talked about earlier, you can toggle and drop uh, enchanted cobblestone on the ground uh, after crafting it or at least store it in the e chest. Um, you also have a script that automatically detects when the inventory is full. So this uses the Hypixel text on screen. So when Hypixel sends a little chat, a message in chat saying that the inventory is full, the script will automatically stop and start crafting for you. Um, I haven't looked into making a module uh, to automate this on other servers. So this is uh, Hypixel specific. Um, next up, it's auto... Uh, not people that don't have the VIP will just have to, uh, it'll automatically auto craft uh, for them since you don't have the auto craft option. Uh, this is a Hypixel feature, it is not me, so I'm just um, making my scripts around that. And yeah, uh, and last thing you can do is toggle the amount of cobblestone you want to mine. So if you want to mine for a certain duration, like a very short duration, you can toggle the that off, toggle the craft on full on full inventory off or on. It really depends if if you want to like craft on full inventory, like wait for the inventory to be full. And I think that covers almost all the features. Now, I'm just going to go over all the um, separate features uh, as we go along. So I'm going to start off with the non VI with the non-VIP, um, where it uses the NEI module. Well, you need the NEI module if you don't have the VIP um, crafting available to you. F and um, so with the non-VIP, you are able to drop items on the ground after crafting. Uh, of course, it auto-crafts, obviously. And then after um, auto-crafting, it can place the stuff inside the e-chest. Um, so yeah, that's a nice little feature onto the VIP option. So the VIP option can also um, drop items on the ground or place them in the e-chest. Uh, it is toggleable in the settings. Uh, you can also completely bypass the um, the need for the VIP module by make, by dropping items on the ground as you craft them. But and also. Um, and also using the quick craft so you can use the quick craft as well uh, quick craft for the VIP option is simply um, a few buttons on the side that shows you the items that you can craft uh, from the items inside your inventory so quick craft will um, be used if you have that option available because it is faster um, though I do not necessarily um, fully recommend it. I mean, of course it's great to have, but like, uh, I, I don't want to force anyone to actually buy the VIP rank. It, this is this script is absolutely available to everyone. So, um, yeah, I think that covers all the features. Um, all right, little interlude, just to um, address an issue real quick that a lot of people seem to have, and a question I get a lot, and that is, how do I um, make the script run continuously uh, while not being in-game? There we go. How do I uh, make it so that my script runs continuously and I do not interact with it? If, for example, if I press Alt Tab, it will uh, pause on Lost Focus. So there, if you press F3 plus Q, like that, you can see on the left-hand side you have a list of different commands, and one of them is F3 plus P. So if I press F3 plus P, you have pause on Lost Focus. Pause on Lost Focus means that if I press Alt Tab right now, it will send you to the pause menu and if I click back to game it will put you back in game and of course the forwards is no longer held down. Uh, to be able to disable that I press F3 plus P and now when I press Alt tab it doesn't do anything else it just it just I'm gonna now move on to the setup of the script because of for the, anyone that has actually um, wanted to install it the setup is uh, done in three separate steps. So if you want to be able to detect whether your inventory is full or not, you want to bind the uh, Hypixel on chat to an event. So you have your on chat event here, 
and you want to bind your script to the Hypixel on chat event. You're going to save that. Next up, you want to bind your script to a button. So if I go into my Automine script, you want to bind your script like that. And last off, you want to put the last two scripts that you have inside the um, scripts folder. So it's in the macros folder right here. So um, once all that is done, you are free to uh, use the scripts. You have to make sure that you also have the NEI module, which goes into the modules folder. And if you are to use the NEI module, you have to make sure that you um, so basically, if you don't have VIP, you need the NEI module, and for this, you need to be in 1.12.2. So make sure you're in version 1.12.2, and I think that covers a lot of your questions. And um, any for anyone that purchases the script, you will be um, added to a um, support channel where I will offer like a, a bit of support, help, stuff like that. Um, though I do not want to spend too much time on this um, from the moment where um, people actually do support me uh, through donations and such. Uh, I will uh, uh, add more work into this script, but for now I think I'll be focusing on different scripts. Uh, yeah, so free support is going to continue. Uh, a lot of updates are going to be done, but this is like the main release of the script. So normally everything should be working fine as is. And yeah, enjoy.